In the last video we talked about rods and cones. I'm um, going to cover rods more in detail in this video, specifically the actual rhodopsin, which is inside rods. So remember rods was responsible for black and white, so for night vision that we have in terms of humans. We don't have good night vision, but rods are the ones that give us that night vision. Remember their shape was, they had a shape of a rod in terms of their outer membrane. Not the outer membrane, but their outer segment. So remember the actual rod was had different parts and its outer segment was where rhodopsin could be found. And rhodopsin was a light sensitive pigment, the pigment that was res responsible for picking up the light and then changing the light into a electrical impulse. And this is how these discs, so you can see they're in layers, lots of these layers. Each of these layers looks a bit like this. They have a phospholipid bilayer, but in between these phospholipid bi bilayers, they have the rhodopsin. So the rhodopsin is in these layers. Rhodopsin. Now, why I'm mentioning all this is because the dot point actually says outline the role of rhodopsin in rods. You need to be able to explain the rods. Not just say rhodopsin is important for rods, but kind of mention a couple steps in terms of how rhodopsin helps rods change light into electrical impulses. And it's fairly straightforward. So you can imagine light will come in, it will come this way, into the rod, and then it'll go through these different discs here. Right? So light will pass and it'll pass through these different discs. And what's happening here is step one, light has entered the outer segment, right? So light enters the outer segment. So these discs, these ones here, and each of these discs looks like this, right? Then within these discs, we find the rhodopsin protein, as a rhodopsin um, compound, which is a protein plus a retinal molecule. This is that part here. Um, so this blue part is meant to be opsin. The opsin is a protein. So this blue is a protein, and this protein is called opsin. And then within this actual protein, we have a small molecule called the retinal molecule. So this is a molecule. And they're both together, and when they're both together, they're called rhodopsin. Rhod from the retinal and opsin from the protein. Opsin. Right? So they're together, but the light, what the light does, the light will actually split them apart. So the light hits rhodopsin, and then afterwards we have two parts. We've got opsin by itself, and we also have retinal by itself. Right? So this was opsin, and this was retinal. But the important part is when they actually split apart, they start a chain reaction. You don't need to remember each step. I remember going through this in um, university. It was a pain in the bum. But it is a chain reaction of different steps that you have to go through to eventually go from rhodopsin, picking up the light, which is when it splits. Right? That's when it picks up the light by splitting. But that then changes the actual signal from light into an electrical impulse. Right? So that's all that happened. At rhodopsin, and that's how it does it. When it splits apart, it changes the light that is picked up by being split apart. The, the shapes change, and by changing the shape, it changes the light into electrical impulse. And then the electrical impulse will be sent out the other way, back towards the brain. Right? So light comes in, electrical impulse comes out, and where all this happens is at the rhodopsin. But the important part is after this is done, after the opsin and the retinal has split, they actually join up again. They reform. There's enzymes, another reason why enzymes are important, every, almost every part of our body has these enzymes that do certain things. In this case, the enzyme will bring those two back together. So after they've brought it back together, we can go back to step one. So new light can trigger the whole thing again. So for this dot point, I actually think it would be good if you kind of have an idea of these steps, and they're pretty straightforward. Light enters, there's rhodopsin within these membranes, the rhodopsin breaks apart because of light, and when the rhodopsin breaks into opsin and retinal, that's when light changes into electric impulses. Electric impulses then get sent to the brain, and the rhodopsin reforms, and then everything can start again. Also, in terms of what kind of light it absorbs, it absorbs light in this wavelength, so at about 480 to 500 ish, and that would be blue green light. That's going to be, you don't need to remember the wavelength. Um, blue green light is the light wavelength it absorbs but it absorbs that specific type of wavelength. So anything else, it won't absorb, just that specific type. But yeah, remember those kind of those five steps, and that's the role of rhodopsin, right? So the role of rhodopsin is to change light energy into electrical energy, pick up to detect the light, first step, and then change it into electrical energy, 
And these were the steps that I had to have to go through to make sure that can happen. Step five is important because of step five, we would have no way of redoing the whole thing again. It's a circle, it's continuous. That's basically, that should be enough in terms of that dot point.